Hey guys, the name is Just Nightmare here, and today we'll be reading chapter two of Something Strange, a Tiki Toby love story. Before we get started, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe to this channel if you guys want more creepy pasta fan fictions out there. Until then, let's get started. Toby was walking me home now, and then at first it was a little awkward between us, but we became very comfortable with each other. I have to admit, I never expected him to make an offer like this. I'm sure it was getting more and more dangerous to be outside at night by yourself, but it's not like it's that dangerous before. We started to develop a little pattern now. Between meeting at the treehouse after I get off from work, we chatted a bit, and then he will walk me home. The cycle will start all over the next day. When we first met, I assumed that he was a shy type or he didn't know how to act around people. The more time I spent with Toby, the more I start to think that he's either a very curious type around people or he just avoided crowds on purposely. Either way, one thing is for sure, Toby was not a, so was not a social butterfly. I've seen only the one person that he's comfortable around with, as well of whom he's staying with. I'm actually starting to wonder just what is this relationship we share? Are we friends or just mere acquaintances? Or are we something something in between? I mean, we're not strangers, but I'm starting to get a little confused right now. One evening, right as Toby was finishing his waffles, I brought him and I decided to ask him, Hey, Toby, are we friends? He looked up at me with a raised eyebrow and then scratched the back of his head. Well, I think we are, but if you're rather not, then... No, no, no. I like being friends with you. I just wanted to know how you felt. I started to regret asking that question. You know, never mind. Forget I said anything. I said dismissively. Toby was still a bit confused and worried. But we are friends, Diana, he asked. Of course we are, I answered while patting his shoulder. He seemed satisfied with that answer. Soon... It was time for me to head home. As we parted the new establishment pattern, Toby was walking me to my apartment. A long pause passed between over us before anything else was said. Toby was one to break the silence all a bit awkwardly. Um, actually, I was wondering if you don't know, maybe would you... I, I mean, I just want to, you know, I waited patiently for him to find the words that he was looking for. Do you want to hang out this weekend, you know, together with me? He finally asked. You mean somewhere else besides the treehouse? I asked. Well, yeah, I just thought that maybe we could go to the park or something, walk around, or... I could tell how nervous Toby was right now because, to be honest, my heart kind of was pounding right now. Uh, offering me to walk home is one thing, but hanging out outside is rather realistic. Something definitely I was not expecting. Heck, about 10 minutes ago, I wasn't even sure that we were actually friends. That sounds like fun. I answered. Really? Toby asked with a slight joy in his voice. Yeah, besides, the weather is supposed to be nice this weekend, so I was thinking of going to the park anyway. Once we reached the entrance of my apartment building, Toby and I exchanged a quick goodbye, and there was a bit of a pre-step in my step, and Toby seemed to be a little bit chipper too. I'm pretty sure this is going to be an exciting weekend to look forward to.